In this video, we're going to be rendering with V-Ray. So let's begin by opening up the render setup and selecting V-Ray in the assign renderer. Okay, now that V-Ray is chosen, I'm just going to turn GI on and change that to irradiance map to make it a bit faster. And have a single output for the frame. Now we're ready and press render. This will bring up the the URA frame buffer. So I'll pause the video and wait for it to finish. And now our render has been completed. That is the preview render. Next I'm going to show you how to do a batch render with V-Ray. So if we change the output to range, say 100 to 150, and save an output file, seems fine. Once you're set up and ready to go, go to rendering and select batch render and check everything is ok it should be getting its information from the setup once you're happy you can start the render process